Hi friends, welcome back. Deep Dive is a series of podcasts where we'll talk about Michael Jackson using his music as a biographical tool. Today I'd like to talk about the movie. Everybody's excited to know that there is a movie coming out about the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. April 18, 2025 has been announced as the release date. And director Antoine Fuqua from Training Day and Emancipation will be in the high chair with Lionsgate Universal Pictures and the Jackson Estate. We also have award-winning screenwriter John Logan, who was responsible for Gladiator and Aviator, and producer Graham King, who did Bohemian Rhapsody. As you can imagine, moonwalkers are over the moon, and the yet-to-be-named biopic, some say Michael is forecasted to shatter all known box office records. At Michael Jackson's death in 2009, both the planned concert and documentary for for This Is It broke box office records, and it remains the highest grossing concert documentary worldwide. Interest in Jackson's legacy has only continued to intensify. Um, the cast for the Michael Jackson biopic has been coming in trickles. We already know that Jafar, the 23-year-old son of Jermaine Jackson, will portray Michael in the peak years. He has been seen in viral clips um, performing Man in the Mirror, and he looks promising. More recently, nine-year-old Giuliano Cruefaldi, a TikTok sensation, has been announced to act in the role of um, Michael Jackson in the childhood years. Evidently, the biopic will have a heavy uh, focus on Michael Jackson's early childhood, which is a key clue to his rise to global stardom. Will the biopic cover the mature era, beyond the dangerous album all the way through history and Invincible? And which actor will be cast? One loud silence is Miles Frost, the actor in the lead role for 2022's MJ the Musical. He became the youngest winner of a Tony Award for Best Leading Actor in a Musical, and the musical was nominated for a Grammy, so he must have done something. Um, Allegations. There are people who are asking if the movie will avoid or depict the allegations. The director says that the allegations will not be avoided. But I wonder how a film can convict or vindicate someone beyond the material verdict from the jury in 1995, beyond the 600-page 12 years secret FBI files that were released after Michael Jackson died. Perhaps a film can humanize Jackson and depict how the false allegations changed his life. Otherwise, The media is hardly the place to look for those sorts of answers. There is so much more we can learn about who Michael Jackson really was and his importance to all of us as a cultural icon. Thanks for listening to the Deep Dive Podcast and see you next time with a new episode. Bye.